Rainbow Crayons. Okay, kids, today we're going to draw self-portraits. Hooray! <laughs> uh, what's a self-portrait? A picture of yourself. Oh, that sounds so fun. And we'll hang them up on the wall afterwards. It's like we'll have new friends. I'm so excited. Here, your crayons. Well, let's get to it. <sighs> hey, is someone using the green crayon? It's me. I have it. Oh, can you give it to me when you're done, please? Uh, um, I've got something really cool to show oh, you. Let me see. Let me see. Ta-da! My parents just bought me brand new crayons. Wow! wow! So cool! I wish I had crayons! Oh, it goes so smoothly across the paper. This is not a regular crayon. It's much, much better. Oh, how lucky! If someone wants to use them that badly, maybe I could give them special permission. I want to use them! I want to use them! I want to use them! Just for a little while, okay? Oh, thanks! Yay! Oh, wow, would you look at this? Oh, is this so great? So those crayons are awesome! Right? Oh, scribble, scribble, scribble. Uh, hey, Rafi! You're pressing the crayon too hard! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rafi! Sorry! Look! Look at what you did to my crayon! Sorry, I didn't mean to press so hard, uh, but it still looks pretty good. See? Look! I don't care about your drawing! I just can't believe you destroyed my crayon! If you're going to get so mad, you should have brought them into the first place! What did you say? Who you wanted to do was just show off anyway! <sighs> hey, come on! Cut it out! Come on! Okay now, Zota, Flappy, it's time to make up. Huh. I'm never letting you borrow my crayons or anything else again, you hear me? Huh. Who cares? I don't want to use any of your stuff anyway. And anyone who's not floppy can use my crayons whenever they want. Oh, how kind of you. Uh, I think I'm okay. Me too. These crayons here get the job done. And what about you? Uh, I'm okay too. It's hard to use your crayons if they're that important to you. Well, okay, whatever. Hmm. Okay, everyone. Are you all done? Yes! All right then, you're free to put your pictures wherever you like on the wall. I'm putting mine here. Mine goes here. Mine will go here. I'm putting mine right over here. And this here is my spot. Uh, huh? What's going on? Oh dear. Whatever. I don't care. It's not like I need friends anyway. See you tomorrow, Zota. Bye-bye, Miss Chicago. Bye-bye, Zota. Let's play together later. Huh. Who said I want to play today anyway? Oh. I'm back. I'm going out to play. <laughs> oh, it's Zota. Everyone's so mean to me at school. Why did they all have to leave me out like that? I even let them use my crayons. Flappy's the one who broke my crayon in the first place. Zota. It's all your fault. I don't need this anymore. Wait! Shimajiro? Don't do that. Your parents bought those crayons just for you. But, uh... Oh, it's raining. You and the others don't really want to play with me, right? That's not true, Zota. Well, I think I'm skipping school tomorrow. So you're not going back to school ever again? I don't know. You should just meet up with everyone and be friends again. <sighs> oh, looks like the rain stopped, right? Wow! What is it? Come here, have a look. Uh. Wow. It's a beautiful rainbow. It's like a rainbow bridge. It really is. Hey, Shimajiro, mm -hmm. how do you think I can be friends with everyone again? Hmm. 
I don't want to lose my friends over these crayons. That would be too sad, you know? Oh, wait! I have a good idea! What is it? Good morning, everyone! Good morning, Ishikako! Okay, today we we'll... Ishikako, would you mind if we did some more drawing today? More drawing? Sure, that's fine, but... What are you going to draw, Shimajiro? Something awesome! Awesome? You mean like octopus puffs? Miss Chicago, do you have a big piece of paper? There, will this be okay? Yes, thank you so much. Okay, Zota, can everyone borrow your crayons? Y yeah. Here you go. You can use any color you like. Hooray! Thanks so much, Zota. You're the best. Well, it looks like Flappy's forgotten about yesterday already. <laughs> yes, you're right. But they are your special crayons, right, Zota? Well, crayons are meant to be used for drawing, so you can use them as much as you want. In fact, I wouldn't even mind if you broke them or even wore them out. Okay, everyone, let's draw a rainbow. Huh? A, a rainbow? rainbow? Yes, a big, beautiful rainbow. Wow, beautiful. You know, it's definitely way more fun to use the crayons with everyone. Isn't it? All right! It looks really good! Let's hang it up on the wall now! Wow! It's like a rainbow bridge! That's right! It's a rainbow bridge that connects us all together! So that's what it was about! Hey, everyone! Let's close our eyes! Let's imagine we're crossing the rainbow bridge together so we'll all meet with Zota! Hmm. <laughs> oh, come on! We're almost at the top of the rainbow! This is pretty tough. Look! I see Zota! Hey! Flappy! Zota! Get me up! Flappy! Okay, Floppy? Yep. Thank you, Zota. I'll only say this once, so listen up, Flappy. I'm sorry about yesterday. Huh? Uh, that. <laughs> I'm sorry, too, for breaking your crayon. The Rainbow Bridge connected us together. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, looks like someone really loved you. Hi, everyone. I'm Penta, the toy penguin. I just got thrown away. Ah! A crow. Crows go through the trash. I hope he doesn't come here. Please don't look this way. Please don't come this way. Don't poke at me. Even though I'm trash. Even though I'm trash. Where are you taking me? So you're saying you took home a toy you found on the street? Mm, that's right. It's a very cute pink toy piano. But it was broken. Then my mom got mad at me. She was saying that I shouldn't pick up toys from the street because it might be dangerous. Oh, I see. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Penta, the toy penguin. I'm flying across the sky thanks to this crow. I'm scared. Ah! Ah! I understand what your mom is saying, though. Hannah brings home toys from the street all the time, too. Really? Mm-hmm. The other day, she brought home a really dirty toy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Just like this one, actually. Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh, a crow! Huh? 
Hello, I'm Penta. Nice to meet you. I uh... wonder where he came from. Oh, that's unfortunate. I guess they can't hear me. Oh, how sad. Oh, Nibelin, oh. your mom just scolded you for grabbing toys off the street. Yes, it's okay. Just leave me alone, please. I'm just trash. But this wasn't just lying on the ground. It fell from the sky. But you know that's not the problem, right? I just got thrown away, then poked by a crow. Oh, this is the worst. Besides, look at it. It's really dirty. Wow, no need to be so direct. Yes, I'm dirty, but... Well, he can't hear me anyways. But I'm sure it belongs to someone, right? Maybe they're looking for it, don't you think? No one is looking for me. I'm sure no one even remembers that I exist at this point. Well, maybe. But since the crow is carrying it, that means it was probably thrown away. You really don't have a filter. I mean, you're right, but... Even if it's dirty, we'll just wash it. What? Look, there's a sink over there. Wait, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah, stop! Hold on. Yes, hold on, I'm crying. How about we squeeze the water out of it? Huh? Wait, I have a bad feeling about this. Ah! Oh my, it doesn't look any cleaner, does it? Oh, of course I don't. I didn't get this dirty in just one day. And now it looks all wrinkly. Because you squeezed me. I wish we could take it home to its owner. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shimajiro. Mimi Lin, hi. Oh, hey there, Mrs. May. You kids look troubled. What's wrong? Well, a crow just dropped this from the sky. Interesting. I think someone might be looking for it. Oh dear, it's falling apart. Looks like someone tried to sew it back together. What do you mean? I'm sure someone treasured it dearly. I guess it's true. There was a time like that, but I got thrown away, so... Well, why don't we try giving it to Officer Lion? Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna go straight ahead towards... Officer Lion looks really busy, right? Left. That's right. You shouldn't bother him while he's working. Plus, even if you give me to him, you won't find my owner. Ah, hey there, Richard. Hello, how's it going? Are you on your way to work? That's right. Huh? That toy animal. Uh, what is it, Richard? Do you know it? Huh, I've seen that person before. Just as I thought. That's definitely the one. Ah. He's the one who carried me to the garbage. Thank you for doing that. A crow dropped it from the sky. Oh, a crow? Do you know who it belongs to? I'm sure someone's looking for it. We want to give it back. I do know its owner, but no one's looking for it. It was actually thrown away recently. Wait, what? But why? Well, the owner of the toy was an adult. In fact, he was just about my age, too. An adult? He moved far away overseas, and uh, I was helping him move out, so that's how I know. Oh, that makes sense. Unfortunately, he had to throw away his toys and most other things he had from his childhood. Hmm. Oh, right, I have to get going now. <laughs> they threw it away then, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell you. You know what? I'm going to take it home. But you can't. Your mom told you not to bring toys from the street. That's right. If you bring home another dirty toy animal like me, she'll get mad. Oh, hello there, kids. Oh, hi, Mrs. May. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Why would they throw it away after all this time? I thought it was treasured and cared for. That doesn't mean it wasn't. Like I told you, I believe it was very much cared for. It's just as she says. Someone cared about me very much a long time ago. We were always together. We were the best of friends. Then why threw it away? Well, I'm sure you two have toys from when you were a baby that you stopped playing with, right? Huh? Like these over here? Or those over there? You're right, I don't anymore. Even Hannah doesn't play with those anymore. 
It's very common for people to say goodbye to their toys from when they were children. Oh. <gasps> you have to wash toy oh. animals gently, like this. That feels good. That hits the spot. Ah, all clean. <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm so glad we have a new friend. Oh, that means... That means we should give him a name. Let's see. What about Pentaro? That's good, isn't it? Yes, that's good, Pentaro. See you later, Mrs. May. I'll drop by to see Pentaro again. Mm -hmm. Are you new here? Oh, yes, it seems so. I'm Carol. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I'm Penta. Uh, no, Pentaro. at the strawberry farm. What? You can't go anymore. No. But you were so excited to go strawberry picking. What happened? I just can't go, okay? You do know that Mimelin and Nikki are busy and can't come either, right? I know that. I do. But I just can't go. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on! <laughs> <laughs> About you, how did you get hurt? You laugh if I tell you. Why would I laugh about it? I I got stuck in a huh? I fell into my toy box and my bottom got stuck. I tried to pull myself out, but I just couldn't. to finally get me out. But now my bottom hurts. But it's not that bad, really. Uh, my mom just wants me to. <laughs> you said you wouldn't laugh! I'm not laughing! I'm not laughing! Promise me you not do what I want! I, uh, I promise! Mr. Royson, we're here! Ah, Kiko and Sakurako. Are you two ready? Uh-huh, I love picking strawberries. I hope we get lots of them. Mr. Rarson! There he is. Oh, huh? I thought you and Flappy were coming together. Yeah, but Flappy suddenly couldn't come anymore. Why not? He was looking forward to this. Did something happen? He just couldn't come. That doesn't explain anything. Does it matter? He just couldn't come. Let's go, Mr. Rarson. Yes. But before we go, could you help me load up the invention we'll need today? Sure! <laughs> hey, he's acting strange, right? Huh? About Flappy, you know? Why doesn't he want to tell us what happened? You're right! It's weird that he didn't tell us anything. Maybe Shimadra and Flappy had a falling out after a big fight. What? A fight? I mean, think about it. What else wouldn't he want to tell us anything? Do you really think that's it? Wow, they look yummy! It's full of strawberries! Okay, now listen up, kids. This Strawberry Mom Bot is going to teach you exactly how to pick strawberries. Okay! You must pick strawberries that are red and bright. Uh. Huh? <gasps> Wait, Mom Bot! That's the wrong one! Put your hands gently on these strawberries and then twist and tug. Uh. <gasps> Stop it, Mom Bot! You're going to get us into trouble! So I guess that's what we're not supposed to do, right? Strawberries are very, very nutritious! At least she's saying the right things, right? Strawberries. Find a red strawberry, grab it gently, and twist. There! Wow! wow. Well done, Sakurako. That was perfect. Some of these strawberries look a bit weird. It doesn't affect its taste, though. It might be fun to pick differently shaped strawberries. Strawberries! Stop it! <laughs> strawberries are so cute. It's too bad Mimi Lynn and Nikki weren't able to come. Mr. Orson, 
-hmm. We can use these strawberries to make jam and other things, right? I've already signed us up for the workshop, so you'll get to make anything you like. Shimajiro, maybe we can make something to bring home for Mimi, Lin, and Nikki. Yeah, sounds great. And also for Flappy, right? Uh, I guess so. Sure. Hope his bottom's better by the time we visit him. I knew I was right. About them fighting? Did you see how weird he got when I started talking about Flappy? Hmm, you might be right. How would you even get stuck in a toy box in the first place? Did he fall in by accident? He looks lonely. He's probably feeling bad about that big fight. Mmm, yummy! It's sweet! I could eat these forever! So how do you like eating mm -hmm. the strawberries mm -hmm. you picked? It's, it's great! They were yummy! Now, are you all ready to go to the workshop? <laughs> I can't wait! Huh? There it is. Why don't you three go on ahead? I just need to put that away in my car first. Too bad she wasn't much help. Let's go! Uh, uh, uh. Hey! Don't be a slowpoke! Hurry up! Um, sorry. Kiko, hold up. Can we go a little slower? Huh? What? But why? Sakurako, your feet are hurting, aren't they? Wait! Really? Yeah. Uh, what happened? I think I have blisters. Let's get Mr. Royson to take care of you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to slow you down. Don't worry about that. We can take our time. It's not going to be any fun for you if your feet are hurting, right? Shimajiro. It's not huh? right! What? Why? I don't understand how Flappy can hate someone who's so nice and caring like you. Huh? Why didn't he want to pick strawberries with you? Well, why are we talking about Flappy? Because you two had a big fight. What? No, we didn't. Then why isn't he here? Um, because... I mean... See, you can't even say. We know you want to make up with him, so let's all go talk to Flappy together. What? We'll do everything we can to help you, okay? Uh, uh, um, actually... <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe he did that. I'm so relieved it wasn't a fight. What are you doing uh? here, kids? Sakurako got blisters on her feet. Oh, that's not good. Let's take care of it. <laughs> hey, tell me, what's so funny? <laughs> well, it's a long story. Thing with strawberries. Here I am! Fluffy! Oh. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what is it? I can't hold it. Wait, did you tell them? <laughs> so, uh, is oh. your bottom doing better now? <laughs> I told you not to tell anyone! I didn't have a choice, Fluffy! Yeah. Oh, wait, what's this about? It sounds funny. Tell me! Well, Fluffy. 